she's such a plucky little thing now, isn't she? I really do enjoy you, you know. Amanda's question deserves an answer, Q. You've made yourself judge and jury, and if necessary, executioner. By what right have you appointed yourself to this position? Superior morality. Oh, yes. I recall how you used your superior morality when we first encountered you. You put us on trial for the crimes of humanity. The jury's still out on that, Picard. Make no mistake. Your arrogant pretense at being the moral guardians of the universe strikes me as being hollow, Q. I see no evidence that you are guided by a superior moral code or any code whatsoever. You may be nearly omnipotent, and I don't deny that your parlor tricks are very impressive. But morality, I don't see it. I don't acknowledge it, Q. I would put human morality against the Qs any day. And perhaps that's the reason that we fascinate you so. Because our puny behavior shows you a glimmer of the one thing that evades your omnipotence. A moral center. And if so, I can think of no crueler irony than that you should destroy this young woman whose only crime is that she's too human. Jean-Luc. Sometimes I think the only reason I come here is to listen to these wonderful speeches of yours. <laughs>